Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. So this was filmed Monday. Um, as you can see, Backlot Cafe is under a um, pretty serious renovation. So for those of you that have been keeping up with my videos, um, it is speculated uh, here at Amusement Insiders that they're going to set that restaurant up. Um, similar to Lazy Bear Lodge in terms of the style sliding down, picking your main and then your sides and all that. Um, secondly, uh, the drill bit that was doing the reinforcement of the first tunnel uh, is now off property. So they are done reinforcing that tunnel. Um, it'll be interesting to see the next steps. Um, but from today's construction update, um, it looked like they were removing the support structure from the inside. Nothing happening over at Extreme Skyflyers Plot of Land. Nothing notable happening at Front Gate. Um, but this giant ex excavator is now parked down by the tunnel. So it'll be interesting to see if they're going to go out and rip the old tunnel apart um, now that they have the new reinforced tunnel um, or if they're just going to build the reinforced tunnel around it. Now, um, I'm expecting that they're going to go in and remove this tunnel, um, but that could very well end up being wrong. But as you can see here, the uh, new uh, steel piles are uh, showing on both sides. Um, so, uh, yeah, really curious about what's going to happen. As you can see, there's a guy in there removing. Um, here's Backlot Cafe. Again, a very large dumpster and a very large team in there um, working really hard on that restaurant. A lot of money going into Canada's Wonderland this offseason. Again, we had a lot of money last season, but this offseason, it's even more. So it's pretty crazy that uh, Wonderland is getting so much money thrown at it. Um, in the last two years and it's only going to continue guys so I'm very curious to see what this park's going to look like in the next five to ten years because if it keeps going it's going to be a whole new park um eventually um over here at the funnel cake building um and jester's courtyard uh some interesting work uh very little but uh the main fryer for the funnel cake place was removed so now that's making me question if that might be the new VIP area. It's a little small, so I'm not quite sold on that, but can't take that off our minds as um, I do think slash no, it's going to be an existing building with a name change um, for the VIP area. So we'll have to see which building that ends up being. Over at the tunnel, they are getting ready to pour um, the side walls. Um, on top of that, there is evidence that there is going to be a garage door um, system installed here. Um, so this is definitely looking like a maintenance tunnel or a launch tunnel, but more so um, definitely to get supplies in because if they are installing track in that tunnel anytime soon, you have to picture a track piece going in sideways um, into the tunnel. So it has to account for a lot of space. That first tunnel simply cannot house a track piece going in sideways. Um, so again, this tunnel looks like it'll be that and they'll probably use it for shipping and receiving. Um, to get the construction materials inside the tunnel. Um, with that being said, they are really digging deep on that old Thunder Run station, removing that foundation. So no, there will be no building replacement coming in time for the 2024 season unless some sort of miracle happens and they're able to build that extremely quickly, but I just don't see it. Um, there's PDI Presley, the people who removed, ex um, not Extreme Skyfire, um, Sky Rider. Um, Thunder Run's exit is still demolished with no signs of rebuilding yet. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Definitely looks like the drink stand's coming along nicely and the Tiny Tom's replacement. Unless Tiny Tom's is the one going over to the Funnel Cake building uh, in Medfair. So we'll have to see. Um I do know that grab-and-go will not cease to exist, or at least what they sell at grab-and-go. Um, so we can confirm that as well. Um, and yeah, so I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like after they pour the concrete, because that'll be a telltale sign. Over in Kidsville, this is where a lot of work has started to take place. So this is where it's really interesting. Um, so they are looking like they're going to start to repaint the helicopter ride. Um, as well as brickwork around the um, little kids show building um, and refurbishment in the store or the craft building for Winterfest. So um, definitely a lot of work going on in Kidsville that's really interesting. Not quite sure what it is fully yet, um, but yeah. So um, we'll be keeping an eye out here to see what transpires. Um, as we have heard rumors, but these rumors were more so for something years out um so i can't see it happening already so it would be really confusing if that's the case it'd be way too big of a project 
Um, with that being said, I don't think there's anything else to report on. Um, again, uh, subscribe to our Patreon to support the channel and get these construction updates a whole day in advance. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.